Kelvin, uh, Jamal's ability to get, get you guys into good shots and the offense today, what was the, the key there? Um, our defense. Our, te our you know, we, when we get out in transition, um, I mean, they're good. They've got really, really good guards, so you're not going to turn them over 20 times or um, 25 times. But, you know, we watched their, you know, they, they, they had a really good chance to beat Ohio State. I mean, could have they could easily won that game, um, but you know we we scouted them, we we saw the areas that I felt, felt like we could um, attack. Um, uh, pace, you know, put pushing it. Um, you know, Jamal's outstanding at uh, that. I thought he was a, a maestro. You know. Um, I still remember Jamal as a freshman when he didn't get to play. You know, he stayed stayed with it. You know, his freshman year, we go to the Final Four, but he's, you know, he got dominated um, August, September, October, November. I mean, I probably stayed on him more than I stayed on uh, the kids that were playing. Um, but once we got to mid, late January, he started hitting back. And then once we got to February, I remember um, um, Jamal probably remembers this too. Uh, Quentin Grimes and Sasser and Jero, those guys come up to me individually and said, Coach, uh, uh, Jamal's going to be good. So, but you know, good for him for um, understanding that you, you've got to develop. You know, you don't come out of high school and, at a program at our level and think you're going to make a difference because you're, you're not. But, um, um, you know, in this in this particular game today, being able to play uh, through him in transition, well, I thought we were good. I mean, we had a really good plan against their zone. You know, they we we knew exactly how we wanted to attack their uh, uh, man to man, and and then when they went zone, we just flowed right into what we had uh, uh, worked on. And uh, our kids are unselfish. You know, everybody everybody understands their role. Uh, buys into it um, and accepts it. So, um, you know, our defense got us going early, and then um, you know we just fed off that. Jamal, well, your thoughts on Emmanuel Sharp's defense and we're going battle start the game? Man, um, you know they took the challenge. A guy that was averaging 27 over the last three games. When it's coming in here, you know you got to step up to the plate, and uh, he did just that. You know. He only shot the ball four times, but he was our most valuable player on defense the whole night because he took that challenge and tried to shut that guy down. He did a really good job. So um, hats off to E. Calvin, how have you seen Emmanuel get get better uh, on defense You know, since when he first came yeah, in today? Yeah, failure. They all fail. None of them can guard when they get here, not the, the way we guard, obviously. I don't recruit defenders, I recruit offensive players. You know, if all we do was recruit defenders, we'd never score. You know, uh, uh, you know when I was watching uh, LJ in high school, LJ couldn't guard the back door with two cannons. You know, and, uh, but that's not why I was recruiting him. I mean, that's part of you know, what we do when we get kids here, so we get them to buy into our, our system of uh, how, we, how we defend. Same thing with Emmanuel. You know, he may not guard anybody in high school. Most of these guys play one, two, one, one, full court press, and uh, team either scored or turned it over or shot missed, and they got the rebound, and they ran it at the end. That was the extent of their defense. None of them play man to man. Um, but um, uh, Emmanuel, you know, is not the first option on offense, but one day he could be, and you'll see a lot more growth. But you know, we we when we recruit these kids, we, that's what we see in them. What you what you're seeing now, but uh, confidence. I think you get confidence from your preparation, your work. Uh, you don't get confidence because somebody tells you something. Um, uh, you get confidence through through your work. It's like our defense. 
you know, whatever you think of our defense, it's because of the work we've put into it and the, and the hours and hours and hours of repetition um, of, of trying to get 13, 14 guys all to understand it. Uh, and then just um, getting them to buy into it. But that starts with uh, having tough kids, high character kids, and um, kids that care for each other. Uh, for LJ, um, big offensive night for you today or day. But um, you know, how much does the defense and kind of getting started strong on that end as a team kind of help? I guess loosen things up and relax you guys on the offensive end. Um, I mean, when you focus on defense, uh, I feel like um, we're going to get out and transition and get easier shots. And um, just being locked in on defense will uh, make you dial in on offense. So, um, I mean, I feel like. Because I was defensive focused today, that's why the balls are going in. Ryan, you got a question? Yeah. We'll go to Ryan and Chris. Damian Dunn has played better in the last few games. Do you see the light kind of turning on for him? Yeah, I don't get overly excited uh, or worry about um, um, anything with any of our kids. It's like free throw shooting. You know, they're, they're going to get better at free throw shooting. Damian, over time, is going to get better at. Uh, coming off the bench. You know, he's never come off the bench. You know, uh, in high school, he was a star in AAU um, for uh, Jerry Stackhouse's program in Kinston, North Carolina. He was a star. At Temple, he's a star. You know, we've, we've had to be patient with uh, Damien. But um, I, I'd say the last couple of weeks, I think uh, LJ and uh, Jamal seen it too. He's been playing good in practice. and. You know, we always tell kids that's where it starts. It doesn't start in the games. It starts in practice. And, and you know, just staying with it, it'll, it'll pop for you eventually. Uh, he's, he's str he has struggled some. But, um, um, you know, we try to put, give him the ball in spots to give him some freedom. Uh, but at the same time, um, you know, everything starts with his defense. That's where he's made his biggest improvement. You know, we don't bring him to practice every day trying to get confidence in his offense. It's not the way it works here. You know, you try to get him confidence in his defense. And I made a boneheaded play by fouling the kid on the out-of-bounds play. But I'd rather tune a kid down than have to have to tune him up. You know, I, I, I tune him down if I have to. But, you know, where a lot of uh, coaches in schools were about trying to get their kids to play harder, uh, that was the biggest challenge for uh, a kid like Damien. He didn't know how to play hard. And uh, in this program, that's, that's non-negotiable. Chris? Kelvin, you know, first Big 12 game, commissioners here, there's some fanfare around this. Did it feel any different uh, to you, to you not, though? And, not for me. And did you say anything to the team about no. it? Or? No. I mean, we played LSU, Arkansas, Ohio State, Kentucky, Virginia. Rutgers, um, Miami, Villanova. I mean, we've been in the top 10 for how many years? Top 25 how many years? I mean, we've been good for a long time. I, I was excited for our fans. Uh, and I was excited for the university. But for us, um, um, you know, we wanted to win. For sure, and we and there was an excitement about playing our first conference game, um, but you know, that's that's uh, you know now we go play our second one. You know, I just don't spend a lot of time with the hoopla um, stuff. We had a plan today defensively. We had a plan offensively, uh, and our kids executed it. And there's nothing in our scout reporter plan said what league we were in or who we were who, uh, any of that stuff. We just went. Now, I think our kids, uh, you know, our kids have always had a little bit of a chip on their shoulder uh, here, because we've, we've had to get some of even our own fans to understand we're pretty good. <laughs> you know, they, were, they were so bad for so long, they, some of them still haven't figured it out. Um, but our kids have and our coaches have. And you know, we know who we are and what we're uh, capable of uh, uh, doing, and we, we, you know, the, the Big 12 thing is uh, real. You know, it's a great conference, and I think I made a statement earlier this week where it reminds you of the NCAA tournament 
um, weekend. You know, you play if you win on uh, Thursday or Friday, you get to play on Saturday or Sunday. You know, because every every team's good. That's why you don't get too excited if you win a game, and you don't get. Well, I don't worry about stuff if we lose the game. I, the stuff I'm worried about is is uh, stuff I can control. <clears throat> Coach, uh, you know, how big was Javier's aggressiveness offensively today? And was you know, there yeah, yeah, that's um, I'm glad you asked that, uh, Starnes. He 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 made a um, Maul made a uh, great pass and he called it and he traveled and I think there was a timeout and I got him a little bit, but then I came out of that timeout and I ran a play for him. We went right back to him, and I went right back to him because I believe in Javier. Javier is a really good player. He is a starting five man on a team that's ranked in the top ten in the nation. You know how good you got to be to be that guy? you have any idea how good you got to be to be the starting five men on, uh, on a team ranked in the top ten? Look at, look at all the five men in the top ten in the nation uh, on those teams. Look at them. You know, look at JVA. Um, JVA's getting better. I mean, he's, he's coming. And that combination of him and uh, Chocho, you know, they're only going to get better and better and better. That's why... Um, I, I, I trust our staff and I trust our decisions. Last question we'll go to Adam. Uh, Jamal, is there anything with this team that is maybe unique or better than some of the teams here the last couple of years? Um, every team is different. Um, you know, we each bring something different to the table. But uh, I think just with this team, just like all the other teams, we're, we're just bonded off the court uh, a lot. And, um, I think that that plays a big part on, you know, just being able to get on each other in, in game. You know, we can say anything to each other. We're not going to take it the wrong way. We're able to get on each other and uh, keep it pushing. So um, just being friends and being brothers off the court just helps so much more on the court. Coach, Coach Jamal, thank you for your time. Okay.